Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're talking about Git and we're talking about how to make partial commits uh, and how to undo partial commits. And I don't know, in general, <laughs> we're talking about the dash P flag and how you can use it with a bunch of different commands in Git and uh, very carefully craft what you're making commits of. Uh, I'm going to clone just any old repository of mine. We usually use AST Pretty, so why not we'll use AST Pretty for this one? And I'm going to make some changes to this. Uh, let's, I don't know, put Hello World here, and maybe we'll put Hello World down here as well. Maybe we'll also put a print in here for some reason. I don't know. Not a, not a good example, but yes, it has to be Hello Hello, because that's a little bit more on brand. On brand. Now, we have a few modified files here, and maybe I only want to make one of these changes in a commit and not the other ones. Let's say, actually, let's, let's use a more realistic example. Let's say that I had, uh, you know, put a breakpoint here. I was in the middle of debugging, and I didn't want to commit this breakpoint. I just wanted to commit the changes to the readme. And let's actually say that I don't want... <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers, we're going to give away a little more of the video. Let's say I don't actually want this, so we're going to discard just this, but not the breakpoint. Uh, and then we're going to commit some of this, but not everything. Uh, and we're going to use the dash p flag to do that. Now, dash p is supported by at least git checkout and reset and add. Uh, and there's probably a few other commands as well. Uh, but we're going to do it with git checkout first. Uh, we're going to do git checkout dash p. And uh, if we do it by default, it's going to use all of the files in the repository, and it's going to send us through this interactive uh, thing to check uh, to tell us whether we want to discard hunks. A hunk is just a, a chunk of diff, essentially. Uh, <laughs> I think it's funny to use the word hunk. And there's this big long prompty thing here. I don't know what all of these things are. I do know that you can put a question mark in here, and it will tell you what all of them are. Uh, yes, discard. No, don't. Q, quit. A, discard this and all other hunks in the file. Okay. I I really almost always just use Y, N, and Q, uh, as well as S, but we don't actually see S for this one. We'll see S later, though. Um, S is for splitting a hunk into multiple hunks. That way you don't have to always uh, commit the whole part. Uh, so we're going to say no here. We don't want to discard that. We don't want to discard this either. Uh, but we do want to discard this hello, hello world, and we don't want to discard this. So now if we look at our diff, you'll see we still have those two hello worlds, uh, but we don't have that print anymore. Now let's say that we want to add just one of these hello worlds to a commit. We can do git add dash p. It's going to take us through this same prompty thing here. Oh, we didn't actually get a split here. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's make it so we actually get a split. Um, we're going to do two things that are very close to each other, but uh, not quite in the same hunk. <laughs> All right, so now if we get add dash p again, you'll see that we have two hunks here. I only want to commit this one because it's on brand and not this one. So you'll see we now have s in this menu here. Uh, s is split the current hunk into smaller hunks. So we're going to do s, and now it's going to give us each of those parts of patches separately. We don't want to commit this part, so we're going to say no here. Uh, we are going to say yes to this part, and then we're going to say no to the rest of them. We could have actually done Q here to quit out of the rest of them. Now if we do get status, you'll see that we have staged part of this, but not everything. If we do get diff dash dash staged, you'll see that we are only check we're only checking in this little bit here. And if we were to, were to go ahead and commit this now, um, add some branding to README, uh, et cetera, et cetera, uh, it will commit this. Now you'll notice... Um, <laughs> Pre-commit has special code that notices when you have a partial commit and makes sure to only check the code uh, that's it as part of that commit. For instance, uh, this debug statements hook would have fired based on that breakpoint here. So if we would have run pre-commit run files astpre.py, we would have gotten this uh, you know breakpoint called error here. And so um, pre-commit is smart enough to know that we're not committing that breakpoint, so it doesn't check that particular one. Uh, but that's how you would do a partial commit by using, using git add dash p. Uh, let's talk about how we could undo an add using git reset dash p. So we go to our, we should have two changes in our readme, right? Yeah, one, two. So let's say we had done git add dash u, uh, and oops, we actually we accidentally staged way more stuff than we wanted to. 
Uh, we don't actually want to stage this breakpoint. We can now use get reset dash p, uh, reset dash p, similar to add dash p, similar to checkout dash p. They all kind of work the same. They send you through this interactive thing to say whether you want to unstage this hunk. Uh, so let's say no and no, uh, but we do want to unstage this breakpoint here. And so now you can see we have unstaged this. Our staged bit only has these hello worlds at it. Uh, and so that's kind of how you can partially add or partially remove a staged bit, a staged hunk even. Uh, but anyway, that's partial commits and the three commands that support that. There are others that support this. And I know git checkout is the sort of old commands. I, I don't actually, <laughs> I actually don't know the new commands uh, for that because I have been using git for too long, unfortunately. Um, but the new commands support this as well. So if you're using git switch or whatever the, Whatever the one is for <laughs> restoring contents. It's probably git restore now that I think about it. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.